Hello YouTube, this is a quick video tutorial in Adobe Photoshop. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make a nice blueprint design, similar to this. Um, has some construction lines. You're going to add in like measurements, just make it look authentic. And it's used 3D models, or a 3D model in this case, just rotated. And which means to import them, you're going to need Adobe Photoshop CS4. If you have any different, I'm sorry, but you need CS4 already, so. Um, go ahead and buy it. So first, you're going to need your 3D model or model that you want to use. It, but see, if it's a blueprint, you probably want to design one thing, and so you need a model. And I'm pretty sure you could import 3ds Max models, but I'm just going to use something from Google's free 3D warehouse. Google 3D warehouse. It's GetChub.Google.com/slash/3DWarehouse. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, I'll use a teapot. Some of the models from here, they seem not to work. Well, they won't render in Photoshop. But, I'm going to download this one because I know it does work. Download it. Open it. Um, this will open in Google SketchUp, so if you don't have that, you're going to need to download it. If you need a 3DS Max model, you obviously need 3DS Max. Or, whichever software your 3D model opens in. Okay, so don't really let me say this, but I'm gonna try to do it. Okay, so you wanna go file and export 3D model. I don't know why that's moved up like that, but it's been really difficult with me. Right, because I'm doing a tutorial, and now it looks like I messed up, but it doesn't matter. So you wanna export as 3D model. Make sure it's on KMZ, KMZ, KMZ. Um, that's a Google Earth file, but you can also open it in CS4, which is really handy for these, because it's nice, and this is a really high poly model. You see, it's so smooth. Um, you also see that represented in Photoshop when we open it. So go to your desktop wherever you saved it. I'm just gonna drag it in there, and I'm gonna rotate it just because it's easier. So then, after I rotate it, when I paste it on my new canvas, which we will make shortly, and this is the 3D tools. If you haven't used it before. I'm using this one here. This is just like a rotate thing. You use these to rotate them. So I put on so that'll rotate it around the base of the model. This one will rotate it around the side. And this one will rotate it front to back. But or you can just drag it. So that I can drag it down and it will spin down instead of using that green uh, the little green slider there. Uh, this might be a bit easier usually because sometimes it just like mucks up and it doesn't rotate the way you want because it can't tell what you're trying to do. It's kind of annoying, I suppose. But okay, they'll do when you're doing this yourself. Try to get it exactly straight, or it looks kind of crap, I suppose. Do you want to know? Um, I'll go 1600, but no, I'm gonna make it a four. So initial paper A4. Okay, this is just A4 paper. Um, okay. So now you want to get your model, just drag it into that new layer or new canvas you've made. Might be a bit big, but oh well. Just drag it in. And because it's a blueprint, you're going to want it blue instead of white, which is what we have at the moment. So you're going to have a fill bucket. Find a nice blue colour. I have hair shown on 4464. I'm going to use that. Nice blue. Just dunk it in there. Zoom in a bit. Okay, so now this is small and it's not like a blueprint, it's still that solid model. It's a very nice model, but we don't want to sell it because it's a blueprint. So if you double click on that, now your um, 3D menu might look a bit different to this, I don't know what mine looks like this, it was different before, but you're going to want to go render settings, and from the preset I'm going to go wireframe, on the colour, you want to make that white, edge style, you leave the same, line width, mm, probably want to leave that the same, and leave everything else checked. 
do that. And now we have our 3D model. We make this a bit bigger. I might make the canvas small, but I think I'll make this bigger. No, I'm, I'm going to make the canvas small because if you convert it to a smart model, you can't edit it then. So, do canvas size. Make it 1600 by 900. My screen resolution. Okay, that that's better. It's quite a lot better. Might be a bit too small now, but oh well. Because you've got one on the side. Um, if that'll stay there. Now I'm going to duplicate this, just so like in this one, I can have two. One from top, one from the side. Just duplicate it and drag it to where you want it and now uh, you're going to use the 3D tool again, this is the 3D rotate tool or K is the shortcut for it just spin it around, I'm having one from above oh, it's going to be really hard because I can't actually see my green thing oh, here it is Okay, obviously when you're doing this, you're going to get this lined up exactly how you want it, but because I'm doing this tutorial, I'm trying to make it short. Okay, that, that'll do, I suppose. 